Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 24 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Just that little <laughs> tiny piece is so cute. No. Oh. Now is the egg just instantly going to pop out? Oh, that's cute. I know that's right. <laughs> Your earth. Mm, no, it's an egg. <laughs> But that is Nico. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, yeah. <laughs> right? I I'm guessing when she's born, you know, yeah, very pretty and dazzling and such. All I'm literally getting is Nico, Nico, ni, and you just, you're expecting one of them to literally just be like, Nico, Nico, ni. <laughs> that is the Nico, Nico, ni of this show. So, see, the thing is, once again, we still have really, you know, no idea. The sky is a limit of what Nico Sama looks like. And with the horn now, it's like, you're a unicorn. Or she's just a human with a unicorn or a horn on her head. I don't know. Like, you know how, um... <laughs> The, uh, I, I think it was one of the, um, My Little Pony spinoffs. I think it was the Equestria Girl series. And they were all humanized and stuff. It, it could be like that. And, and then boom. And then she still has a horn. I don't know. I, I'm giving guesses here. And there he goes. Oh, Sato, you always helped. All right, our cool girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. It might be best for a while. Aww. 
Is he evolving already? Did she just leave Nico Garden and be like, hey, there's trouble? <laughs> mm, that is Cody. <laughs> Maybe Nico somehow wants to be with, you know, Iroha and Komogi. <laughs> well, they were asleep and yeah, it instantly disappeared. Well, this one did. The egg is definitely still going to get out. May may. <laughs> mm hmm. See? I mean, they might as well. She wants to be around them. Right? <laughs> Maybe because you baby her a little too much. Yeah. Yeah, because if she didn't, she would have stayed with you. Well, I mean, I, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, there's another like her. Right. I don't think it's a bird egg, though. Mm-hmm. Was that a gorilla? Yeah. There, there is no might about it. It is. Mm-hmm.
Now, was there a reason why they literally, like, kept the camera on Yuki for a good minute or so? Or was that me? Am I reading a little too much into that, possibly? Maybe. Who knows? Uh, Komogi, it's not going to be that easy. Hmm. I did tears for me. Why am I going to fuck that? Like, oh my god.
<sighs> no. Well, it's a good thing you did. It made the fights go by, like, a little teeny tiny bit quicker. Something tells me Nico is still once again trying to get away. Me too. <laughs> well, what do you do and tell May May about it? Be like, hey, yeah, once again. It came back. What you want me to do? I can't do anything, damn it. Okay, I love the fact that for Yuki, literally, like, she just knew the right thing. Cat-like instances was like, okay, yes, this is the one thing that bonds the mother and the child. So, mm, instead of trying to fight it, let's, you know, talk it out. Show it the one thing that's, like, very, you know, impactful. A signal, or not a signal, um, a sign or something. And then instantly, boom. Ain't gotta do no fighting this week. Which was good. I like that. Because I get, well, really in a nutshell, this season has no fighting moments, at, in my opinion. I, and when I mean, like, fighting moments, I'm meaning, like, you know, bad guy, pretty cure going toe-to-toe, da-da-da, hand-to-hand combat. We're not really getting that with this season. And I'm not mad at that. It's a different type. I know, like, when Kita Kita and maybe Mahotsukai came out, that was the mixed feeling. I know it was more with Kita Kita, especially when I was watching Kita Kita, but I, I, I enjoyed it. I loved having them go back and forth between either fighting with their weapons or hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff. But it was still good. No, it was very, very sweet. But yeah, this egg is a little old troublemaker. I mean, come on now. <laughs> is this a sea turtle? Never really thought what the we see a sea turtle, but okay. No, 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 no. But see, the fact is, like, Mayu, Mayu's wing woman instincts are coming back into my play next week. And honestly, I'm here for it. Because that is really what I wanted for Delicious Party. We kind of got that with Mary, but not to, like, the moment, or, like, the the level I wanted it to be. Because, of course, like, Mary is older than everyone else. And such but the fact is that we're having a character who is all around the same age as the love interest as well and every moment she's over here like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. go ahead shoot your shot like yes like oh my god you got this get it get you girl like oh I, just, I love it it's just so freaking cute honestly just so up in here for it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 24 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday <clears throat> for episode 25. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.